ok, okay il dato ok allora e ritroviamo con piacere anche Iona è la seconda volta che viene a trovarci che partecipa e collabora a questo evento e nel giro di un anno ha fatto una carriera pazzesca forse l'abbiamo portato fortuna no nel senso che eh, l'anno scorso ci ha parlato eh, bon, lei vi racconterà anche cosa fa perché lavora eh, in una club ok in una maniera tirana e, e quindi e l'ho chiamata nella sua veste di ambasciatrice di Fedora che è una distribuzione di un sistema operativo eh, tra quelli tanti eh, basati sul kernel Linux e a raccontare poi gli strumenti, le modalità in cui eh, le attività eh, in questo laboratorio vengono poi portate avanti quindi dare delle best practice eh, di ispirazione per noi e siccome appunto dicevo ha avuto tante esperienze lavorative grazie al fatto che si muove nell'open source oggi invece ci parla di una cosa molto interessante che non è solo uno strumento ma una serie di strumenti che ci dà una visione su processi eh, che possiamo chiamare comunque eh, possiamo racchiudere nel termine di office automation però con, con, con tanta attualità quindi possiamo spaziare eh, facciamo un un filo lo tiriamo che parte da LibreOffice, tocca quello che è Collabora Suite, quindi una serie di tool che si basano magari per un LibreOffice e lo portano, lo declinano eh, online, in cloud, e poi per arrivare a una suite che è quella di Nextcloud. E questo raccontato anche un po' attraverso la sua esperienza professionale, quindi eh, che ci fa capire appunto come muoversi in questo ambito, poi che aiuti anche a, a realizzarti velocemente. Quindi... Eh, eh, scusa, sono parlato in Italia, non sorry for yeah. <laughs> this, this little part in Italian. Lei parlerà in inglese perché è più congeniale, anche se in realtà conosce, conosce benissimo l'italiano, quindi non dite cose strane perché vi capisce, lei l'italiano lo sa benissimo, però vi parlerà in inglese per, perché comunque per stare umile. Ok? Bene. Right. Yeah. So thank you for the introduction and thank you for inviting me again. As he said, it's my second time here. Uh, last year I uh, It's, let's say, a continuous part from my presentation last year. Last year was a bit more general about open source, what kind of operating system or different tools. But this year will be a bit more focused on Collabora and Nextcloud. Uh, so, who am I? So, as he said, uh, my name is Yona. Uh, I'm an open source advocate. I really like open source and I'm really into open source. And uh, mostly I travel a lot uh, to talk about open source, not only in Albania, uh, to promote it and uh, to have more people understand the real value of open source and wh why people need to use it. But also uh, abroad to share the experience that uh, we have at uh, my country, even that we are a small country, I would say. Uh, but uh, let's say we are working really hard uh, to do more uh, open source related things. Uh, I've, I've been contributing to uh, different open source projects uh, because being part of the community is really important uh, to give your contribution to these uh, different softwares or different platforms. I'm part of the Fedora project. Uh, I'm a TDF member, the Document Foundation member. And lately I joined even the Nextcloud uh, project. And how I got involved, let's say, uh, with Nextcloud was uh, during the summer. I was part of uh, Rails Girls Summer of Code. Uh, that's a, it's an internship, three months paid internship, um, and especially dedicated to, uh, let's say, bring more diversity in open source. Uh, and the project that uh, I was working during the summer was Nextcloud, and especially with the uh, contact apps, so mostly JavaScript and AngularJS. Uh, let's say that JavaScript, it's a bit difficult language, programming language, uh, but I think that we had a good summer with JavaScript. Uh, and lately, uh, later on, I joined uh, Collabora, uh, where I'm the marketing lead for the moment. And so why from developing or programming I went to marketing? Uh, I study for business informatics, so I have, let's say, background for uh, both um, parts, like technical and non-technical parts, but even a bit from business uh, orientation knowledge. And uh, at Collabora, I try to combine, let's say, non-technical and a technical background and trying to uh, have more, uh, try to make more people understand what we are doing and promoting it better. 
Uh, but also something that I'm really working and I really like to do is the doing more diversity stuff uh, related to open source. That's why I'm one of the co-founder co of Open Diversity. Uh, that it's like an umbrella for all the open source projects to have more diversity and inclusion. Uh, and mostly, let's say, diversity doesn't mean to have not, let's say, more women into open source, but especially that it's uh, something that we need to work more. And it's not only in open source, but in technology in general, let's say. Um, so lately, uh, let's say all the work that I have done, uh, I was, uh, I was, I am one of the finalists of the Women in Open Source Award. And uh, if you can see, thank you. <laughs> uh, if you can see all the finalists, actually, they have done a very great job uh, promoting open source, contributing, and trying to get more people on board uh, and spread the word more. Uh, so. Uh, it's a very nice way that Red Hat uh, thought, let's say, uh, to appreciate uh, these women. Uh, and if you have time to vote for one of the people, because all of them, let's say, one of the, these women have done a lot of things. So, so uh, I will talk a bit uh, about, <coughs> let's say, uh, the importance of self-hosted services. Why so important? So how many of you care about security? <laughs> then how many sure. of you uh, have very important and sensitive uh, data that you cannot risk to lose all of you right <laughs> so having confidential data uh, let's say of your corporation or your business or even if you don't ha have a business let's say but you are thinking to have one but even personal data that you have as a user uh, it's very important that you will not lose them uh, because what happens if you don't have a backup or uh, backup of them or uh, what happens if someone else have access at those data so it's terrible that someone else can know all the sensitive information that your company has for example um, information for your uh, clients or information for even for your employees or the prices and etc uh, so we need, let's say, um, to define better how we use our data and uh, where to share or where to put them. And not to choose like uh, proprietary uh, softwares like uh, Dropbox or Google Drives and etc. So we need to take control of our own data and um, let's say do more things to try to protect them and one of the, uh, let's say, best ways uh, to do is self-hosting uh, because uh, you can uh, do a lot of things just having your own server. Uh, you can, uh, let's say, uh, create a chat for your company or you can put all the documents that you need to use. You can <coughs> even edit those documents at the same time with all your employees and etc. So where to host your data? Um, so. Let's say that I'm working for Collabora, and before talking about Nextcloud, I just want to say that uh, we have partners, both the Nextcloud and OnCloud, and I will uh, explain later what those are. So, but the, the reason why I'm talking only about Nextcloud now is because I have worked uh, with them, and I know this company better. Uh, so, Nextcloud uh, is like a safe home for all your data that you have. And you can have them available from everywhere that you can be. So it's not necessary, let's say, uh, to have them only at your computer and how you will share with your employees or et cetera. Uh, this company, uh, let's say they started uh, at 2016. So let's say it's a two years old company, but they have started, the founder of this company actually uh, started on cloud uh, at 2000. 2007, uh, not seven, uh, 2010. Uh, but later on, uh, for different reasons, that it's better to check online. So you, let's say, we will not talk about this part. Uh, he decided to fork uh, his own company because this is the good part of open source. 
what you can do, uh, you, it's not that you need to build something from zero, from the beginning. You can just see another software that you really like, but maybe you want to, let's say, improve them, uh, or you don't like something at that software and you want to uh, improve that or fix something. What you do is you can just fork uh, that project and you can start, uh, let's say, improving or putting your own ideas there. And that's what Frank did, that is one of the founders of Nextcloud. He forked his own project uh, on cloud and from on cloud we have Nextcloud. That's why they have even the name Nextcloud. Uh, and uh, let's say why or how uh, Nextcloud will protect your, let's say, your data. Uh, so Nextcloud, uh, since the beginning when they started, uh, one of the visions that they had uh, in their mind is uh, to protect uh, your, data, your data that you uh, own on your own uh, server. Uh, and what they, let's say what they did uh, is thinking uh, to have a, a three layer uh, protection regarding the security issues. So one of this is features <coughs> and capabilities. So when you install Nextcloud in the beginning, uh, Nextcloud will automatically detect any issues that you might have uh, or let's say the configuration itself has. So uh, when you go uh, at the administrator settings, you need to be careful to uh, see it, especially when you have uh, even new major releases. You will have a notification there saying what is the problem and also uh, telling you a link uh, of the documentation where you can read it and how to fix it. Uh, that is very, very important. Uh, another thing that it's, uh, let's say, really important here is that, um, uh, let's say, two-factor authentication, uh, it's by default, uh, let's say, marked when you uh, install Nextcloud. That's why not only this, but also some other uh, important uh, features related to uh, uh, security are by default uh, put it uh, in Nextcloud. So that's why uh, they highly recommend people to not change them, but to save them and uh, have them like they are in the beginning. Uh, uh, but, I mean, people, maybe they can change it or whatever. So that's why they, they really like to encourage them uh, to save them as they are. And uh, as I said, to, uh, to factor uh, authentication is really important and uh, to have it enabled. Uh, because, for example, if you have uh, third party applications that they want uh, to access uh, your file system at Nextcloud, even if they have access at Nextcloud, if you have this enabled, this uh, two-factor authentication, they cannot access the file system of Nextcloud, that it's really, really important. Another thing is how, uh, why, or let's say how they uh, try to uh, protect you is hardening. So even if you try like to be perfect, you cannot be perfect because uh, you will find something uh, that um, can be like, uh, of something very small that maybe you didn't notice or, or etc. <coughs> That's why for this case, uh, Nextcloud has a heartening uh, features uh, that it's a second layer uh, of their security uh, protection that they have to make, let's say, uh, the life of the attackers uh, even more harder when they try to uh, take your data or try to do something. Uh, this new technology protects users even uh, when they, let's say, they try to attack uh, Nextcloud, even when they have um, the when they are allowing uh, the some, let's say, JavaScript code that uh, it's trusted. Uh, and in this case, what they do, uh, they try to, uh, let's say, uh, require from you your password again before allowing uh, another action that it's sensitive action to be done. And another one is organization. So uh, in addition uh, to the other uh, technical measures that we said, uh, they try to fighting uh, the security uh, issues uh, this time in uh, organization level. So uh, not only training developers in writing the source code or evaluating the security impacts that those have, uh, but also <coughs> trying uh, to have, let's say, uh, responsive, effective security uh, reporting process. And as part of this, okay, so as 
part of this, they are also running a security bug a bounty program uh, with a reward that it's uh, five hundred five thousand dollars. So let's say uh, because they are uh, trying uh, if even other people to see what other security things they can try. Uh, they, they will find uh, during their attacking, let's say, problems that they will do. But what are they thinking to do in the future? Uh, or what is their vision that they, they want to, let's say, achieve and they want to have this new feature at Nextcloud? Is automatic updates. Because lately we know that it's very hard sometimes to do this all the time manually. And sometimes it's very risky because uh, maybe you will uh, lose your data. Uh, and as I said, even in the beginning, if you don't have a backup, it's uh, very bad for all the people, especially when you have a company and you have a lot of data there. It's very ambitious goal, uh, but I think the team is very strong and they are really good at it. We, we will wait. <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh, screenshot of, of how Nextcloud looks is this one. Uh, this is for the emails, actually. Uh, and it's, I don't know how well you can see, uh, but you have uh, free, this is one of the apps that you can download because you can download different apps there. Uh, you have email, you have contacts, uh, you have even talk, is this one. Uh, they call it talk. Uh, it's a communication tool that you can use uh, even with other people that are not registers. Maybe you can just send them a link and you can talk with them. Something new that they did is even the chat that it's on the right. Uh, mm -hmm. I know that in the beginning it sounds like very easy, or, but they just did this and uh, it takes a lot of time to do it from scratch. So uh, the it, it newest. One platform uh, you can add uh, uh, as an app. Uh, uh, yes, plug it's, in, up add you, the uh, yeah, it's up to you which one you want. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's to very download. easy. I use it for my work. Mm -hmm. uh, also, our Linux user group is using for our uh, documentation and, uh, and files that so data. Yes, uh, uh, Nextcloud is, is, uh, is very easy to use, I think. And uh, uh, Nextcloud is, is improving. Uh, the communication, the, 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 the marketing side yeah, exactly. <laughs> in respect to, to uh, on cloud and uh, as a, a, a new uh, Android app, uh, I think, is uh, on, uh, on, on the, yes. in the work. <coughs> uh, yes, but you, uh, even the oh, one that... Yeah, yeah. yeah. It sounds, I see the it yeah, they, they have changed. I mean, yeah. they do a lot of improvements, uh, a yes. lot of time. But especially now that it, it was the major release. Mm -hmm. I think it's, 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 uh, the, the speed, the, the developing speed is uh, yeah. higher in respect to uh, uh, cloud. Yeah. 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 And it's also like fixing. Yeah. Yeah. And this is a very high. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have seen, let's say, uh, I see, uh, especially on Twitter since. A lot of people use it. I've seen a lot of people saying that uh, they are very impressed uh, for the new release. A lot of improvements, um, and especially even the automatic manual update. It's even easier now, and uh, it's very fast. Uh, but also, if uh, even when people want to migrate from on cloud to next cloud, for example, even that one, it's a lot of easier now. And um, so this is, um, uh, let's say, a group uh, a photo that uh, we did uh, when, uh, on August in Berlin, uh, because every year Nextcloud has their own conference. Uh, it's one week conference. Uh, and what I really like about this conference, and I see, let's say, a bit different from the others, is that uh, the first days they dedicate only to do some uh, hacking uh, workshops or working together. So it's not that they have an agenda about it, but just people that are there, they can uh, just grab a table uh, and work on the things that they like or things that they want to develop, for example. And it's way easier sometimes face-to-face -face when you have the people that you work on. 
and mm -hmm. it's really nice, it, uh, especially for me, for example, and my teammate, because uh, we were uh, a team working on Nextcloud. Uh, it was easier for us to meet our mentors there and our coaches and work all together during uh, that period. And they have two days uh, dedicated to enterprises uh, that are talks and lightning talks or workshops. Uh, but especially the hacking sessions were very nice, very engaging, I would say. And it uh, happens uh, every year, uh, end of August, uh, usually in <coughs> Berlin. Uh, but I think even this year will be mm. Berlin. So you are invited if you want to join the conference. Uh, you can apply with, with a talk or you can even just come as, as an attendee. So we, it's a growing community. Uh, yes, uh, because uh, what I really like at them, uh, the, the community really matters uh, for Nextcloud. Even, let's say, they have the enterprise version, but a lot of community members contribute and give their oh, contribution that's cool. <laughs> uh, to different apps uh, that you can uh, work. So it's very nice, even hearing their feedback and letting them to contribute. So uh, it's very, especially for people that are very involved with open source, is a plus one when they are very community oriented. Uh, so, uh, can I edit my documents online? So, uh, okay, we have a place, uh, let's say, where to put um, all our data and etc. But how can I put all my documents and work at the same time with other people if I have something really important, like uh, it's Google Docs, for example? In this case, we have Collabora Productivity, uh, the company that I'm working now. Uh, and let's say we're uh, the leaders of liberal office development and support and consulting. Uh, we, let's say we are very connected with the community, but uh, there are a lot of companies that they are they do let's say the same thing as us. Uh, but especially something that let's say distinguishes us from the others is that uh, we have Collabora online, so having LibreOffice online, having LibreOffice in the cloud. Uh, so, why Collabora Online? Um, so, as I said, Collabora Online is a powerful LibreOffice-based uh, online office suite. Um, and why some of the reasons why to use it? Uh, you have uh, full control of your data. In this case, um, you have um, you are in full control of, um, let's say all the data that are processed uh, or are working on in your CPU and what goes through your network. Uh, it's secure, so we have encrypted file support. So this means that when you encrypt uh, your documents, even if, uh, let's say, you will lose your documents or et cetera, no one uh, can see them because you have already encrypted them. And what are what uh, other things that you can do is, for example, disable print or uh, that means that if you, for example, uh, don't want that other people to, uh, let's say, print the documents or you don't want that those do documents go to the third parties without uh, your permission, you can do that. Or even watermarking that you don't uh, allow other people to use your document without your own permission. Uh, some bonus features. Uh, so we have a reduced feature set sphere. Uh, so this is when you have a lot of features and sometimes you are really confused uh, and you might have unneeded features and sometimes it's time consuming because you are trying to find where is the feature that you need. So in this case, uh, let's say there are not a lot of, it's easier to find the, what thing you, want, you are uh, looking for or what is the the right features for you at the right at that moment you have the document formats so it's let's say re less relevant and uh, in the cloud so this means that uh different or different various documents uh can be edited online without the need of installing uh, another software uh on your pc so you have everything uh, on the cloud uh, and you can edit it and collaborate uh, with the other people at the same time from your browser. So uh, what it looks like writer. 
Uh, so, as you can see, most of the features or most of the, at the menu are similar with uh, LibreOffice, if you are familiar with LibreOffice. You can even uh, write comments uh, about different things that you want to change so the other person can look at it. Uh, this is Calc. Uh, we, even the, the words how we, let's say we call them, uh, are based on what they do. Here, uh, here we have Impress, and uh, another thing that we have at the same time with Collabor Online is Code. Code is, uh, let's say, mostly uh, for Developer Edition, that's why it's called Code, Collabor Online Developer Edition. And mostly uh, we have Code uh, when we have new features, so the community can test, can prove them, and we can have their feedback, uh, what is going right, what we, what we can improve, uh, and etc. Uh, so, uh, and it's mostly for home users, because since it's development edition, uh, enterprises want something, uh, say, more stable. Uh, we have more than 1.5 million Docker pools, actually. We are more than 2 million now. Uh, and you cannot use this alone. Uh, so you need to combine this with uh, something else like Nextcloud, OnCloud, PyDo, or CFile, it's up to you. And with a valid SSL certificate. So uh, we have, let's say, different partners from all around the world. And also we have even uh, other companies that we have a partnership with them and they support uh, the level first and the level second support, uh, but we support all of the three levels support. And you can uh, distribute uh, Collabora online with all the products that we have uh, in different countries. So this is 14 countries that uh, we had for this year. Uh, so here it's uh, regarding the commits uh, by different affiliation uh, that we have. Uh, so the top, I mean compared, so this is, uh, let's say, even a bit the relation with Collabra, and, yes? It's mirrored. Um, <laughs> uh, it's because it's mirrored. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, at my computer it's okay, sorry. <laughs> So it's uh, 18,855 uh, code <coughs> commits that we have done between August 2016 to September 2017. That it's a lot. And mostly, uh, let's say, compared to other top contributors, as you can see, uh, we have 5,178 that are volunteers. That it's a lot. Uh, the first one is Red Hat. And the second one is Collabora, and we have even other companies like CIB or uh, can Canonical, and etc. Um, I will try to show. Uh, okay, I need to hear your help. Hmm? I have a video here. Hmm? Oh, okay. But how can I? Uh. USB. There is mm -hmm. show. Technology sometimes is... Okay, no, I can no. show the video maybe in the end. Uh, it's the Collabora integration uh, in Nextcloud. Uh, but you I will... exit uh, to the presentation. Yeah. It from there. So or we can show it in the end. Okay, okay, in the end. Yeah. Because it will be easy. better. Uh, so, Collabora Office. Uh, we have two products, not only having LibreOffice online, uh, but also having uh, as a desktop, in your desktop. So, and why to use, uh, let's say, LibreOffice uh, from our company when uh, everyone can have it for free? Uh, so, when you really need a feature, uh, and let's say you, you want that at that moment because it's very critical maybe for your company or it's very important for you. When uh, you will uh, file a bug uh, at your community, uh, you need to wait because everyone is a volunteer. So when they will find their time, 
and this will even require time until they will fix it. But when you will need a new feature and you require this to, to be fixed from a company, they will do it because you pay them to do that. Uh, so that's why we have a custom built version uh, for enterprises. Uh, we have three to five years of security and maintenance. Ma maintenance sorry. Uh, also, of course, that includes uh, accumulative uh, customer fixes that other com uh, customers uh, needed, uh, let's say, new features, and everyone can have it now. Uh, it's very easy to deploy on Windows. That's, wh that's why we have. Uh, let's say the, the Microsoft patches and uh, also the administrative templates on Windows. Uh, we have unlimited low priority bug ticket filing, uh, also interaction with developers because most of the let's say, developers that are certified, uh, they work on Colabra. And important product direction uh, input. So, uh, one example, uh, one of the top three Italian banks, uh, it's one of the, our customers, and the, they have, let's say, 20 seats of Colabra office. It's deployed in all their branch office, um, and all these things that, you, that we mentioned, uh, they are using them. And it's, of course, an ongoing product uh, work for them, and Let's see, in Italy, as I mentioned, we have different partners in different uh, countries. In Italy, we work with Studio Storte, so they are our partner in Italy, and uh, they, they have worked, let's say, with uh, this Italian bank that they are using now, uh, Collabra Office. And it's very nice, especially when we have different case studies. Uh, it's easier for people even to see how other companies are using it, and etc. Another one, a case study that will be published very soon, I mean, uh, something documented that you can even read it. Uh, it's the Ulster case study, that's, uh, it's a hospital in UK, even they, they are using it. The latest version uh, that we have is 3.0, uh, Collabora Online, uh, that was out on 8 February. Um, so it's a release that we just finished and published uh, everywhere, and one of the features that was new, let's say, were the new dialogues uh, because the, as you can see even at the picture, uh, it's a new dialogue and a lot of new dialogues that we are adding, let's say, because in the beginning was something very sim similar, very simple, sorry, and with not a lot of dialogues, with not a, a lot of uh, functionalities. Uh, but, uh, This was the hold on. Um, and it's very nice uh, when you check on Twitter the different partners that they say some good words about you, the work that you have done. It's a kind of appreciation uh, towards the team, the the whole thing that they are doing because even they they are paying. Let's say they are paid to do that work. We need to uh, appreciate them, the work that they are doing. Um, it was very great. The partnership that we have uh, with the LibreOffice community. So uh, we have like around 200 million LibreOffice user based and mm -hmm. a lot of people that are helping, around 1,000 people that are helping to develop LibreOffice. Uh, it's a very big community that they are working really hard to have, let's say, a very nice office suite uh, <coughs> that it's open source. Uh, we are backed by a real diverse community because, as I mentioned even before, uh, we have different affiliations that are working on uh, Red Hat, Collabra, CIB, TDF, and Canonical, and the others. Uh, and as you can see from the graphic, uh, here you can see the different comics that they have done per month uh, per each of the affiliations. And. Uh, and this is the group photo of uh, our community that we have at LibreOffice. Uh, because uh, even LibreOffice uh, has a conference every year uh, where they gather all the contributors. Uh, and I'm really happy that this year will be in Albania, in Tirana. Uh, because last year we applied to organize it in our country. Uh, and will be uh, from 26 to 28 September. Um, 
since we are very near, I think it would be very nice uh, if you uh, can come and uh, mm -hmm. see the community or see the talks that will be or talk uh, even with uh, the developers that will be there. And you can see if you want, even you, how you can contribute or how you can get engaged with this community. Uh, so, Falim Derit means thank you uh, in my language. Uh, if you have any question, uh, I'm happy to answer you. Do you to want to show you. the video? Uh, Is it yeah, long? Sure. Is it uh, uh, quick? Or? Yeah, well, it's not very long, but we can okay, okay. move it. Okay, no, it's not short. Sure. Can we see it? No. No, here yeah, we can. Okay. Uh, so this is when uh, you hope when you open Nextcloud and you want to edit uh, different documents. <laughs> uh, so if you want to edit something like. Is the Collabora app in Nextcloud? Uh, yes, okay. it's installed on Nextcloud because you need to install it if you want to use mm -hmm. it. You can install even code if you want. But as I said, it's for free. But for enterprises, this is uh, the version that we suggest. Uh, you can add even comments there. This one actually uh, it's for an older version, not for the new one that we have, because as I mentioned, we have more dialogues, more new features. Fine. Uh, so this is for Calc. You can even uh, start something from scratch there, or if you have something already in your computer, you can just upload it there, and you can work at the same time with other people. Uh, you have uh, even uh, at the bottom uh, how many people joined uh, the documents that you are, uh, let's say you are writing or you are improving something. Um, always uh, your name is uh, with the black shown there. Uh, but different people have different colors. Um, yeah, it's... Oh, um, question of mine, you know, <laughs> I uh, have <laughs> to provoke uh, our speakers. Um, do you need, uh, do you think, uh, this is a, a, a cultural shift, I think, uh, for companies, uh, especially here in uh, Europe, I think, or in Italy, uh, you're used to to own own uh, your uh, your oh, software, okay. but uh, in this period you 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 spoke about uh, Google Docs. We are not uh, um, very realizing very well uh, when uh, we use a software as a service, a software which is online and easy and, uh, and it's free, <coughs> but not uh, free but as free. <laughs> in free software. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think we need uh, um, a cultural shift, uh, and the, the shift is uh, to decide not to buy a service uh, uh, from a, a, a provider with uh, I'm not uh, so sure um, I can rely on because of, uh, of reputation. I think Google, for example, uh, doesn't have uh, a very good uh, reputation nowadays, uh, so shift uh, and, and, and start to, to think, to own uh, so own cloud, yes, but it is possible to own uh, your own cloud, uh, not uh, buying a big uh, server, but buying a, 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 a VPS mm -hmm. online, I think, 
but uh, it depends even how big is your company actually okay. but even if you want it like for home just to use there you can just find something very small in the beginning uh, like making some testing or etc and later on you can have your own server and etc but uh, also you need a sysadmin let's say person to do that or uh, there is a product uh, um, Nextcloud box I, I'm thinking um, it's uh, for a, a person a, 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 a like, young uh, user I think it's like a server for you no server. that you can have at home but yeah. I mean you uh, you need to be very careful with it the data that you will put there because if you will not have energy for one second ah, okay. you lose everything yeah okay. you lose everything it's a, a, a small uh, a small device based on Raspberry Pi, yeah. and you can buy uh, everything but uh, the Raspberry yeah, Pi. Raspberry Pi. You have a SD buy. memory flash uh, with the uh, yeah, cloud. Yeah. Yes, but the problem is uh, if you lose uh, <laughs> your energy for. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. It depends on your energy. <laughs> <laughs> it's very important. Poi si dice gruppo di continuità in inglese, ragazzi. Di. Eh? Okay. You need a power backup. Uh. <laughs> uh, yes, backup for all your information, just to be sure. I mean, every every time, one of the things that company needs to have in your in their mind is that they need a backup of their everything <coughs> that they have. It, it, not only one, I would say. <laughs> Even two. Or... Okay, last question about the future. Uh, if <laughs> compulsory. Uh, how do you see the future of the, uh, the, the, the cloud, but the, the, the owning of the cloud, the, the personal cloud, the private cloud? So uh, you mean self-hosting yes, yes. services? Uh, it's realistic? Is, uh, as you can growing. see, the, the market share, let's say, uh, compared to the previous year, every year is growing even more. So more, more people are... Uh, it's not that they don't care about security, but they don't understand the real value of security oh, okay, and yeah. how important it is to self-host it, uh, their different services. And lately, uh, this number uh, is growing even more. So, especially in the near future, I think that a lot of companies will have their own services uh, hosted on their server because it's really important. As I said, Risking your data that are very sensitive, very confidential, even if you are a user, for example. For me, it's like terrifying if I will lose my data that <laughs> I, I see, have. I see, yeah. Even that I don't have a company myself, for okay, example. Okay. And not when we talk about a company that's even more important. Okay, so. Thank you. I'm glad. Uh, if you, if uh, our audience have uh, any question for you, no? please. Question very quick. Or if you want, you can send me an email too. Okay, better, better, better. Send it. <laughs> if I find. Email. Okay. Allora, chiamami fra